got a goat that is chewing on my pants. This is life with goats. <laughs> Howdy folks, my name's Reagan. Thank you so much for coming and hanging out with me today. If I get distracted, yes, there is a goat trying to climb me. He's trying to eat my pants because that's what goats do. And I don't even know what to do about that except we're just gonna do our best to continue on. We have been working our way through the book of Philippians here in our Capsule Sermon uh, weekly series, talking about joy, rejoice, joy. Where do we find joy? Where does our joy in the Lord come from? And so today we're gonna be in Philippians chapter three, Let's just talk about why we're even worried about this whole joy thing. Why does it matter? What is the big deal with being joyful? And should we be joyful? Okay, here we go. Uh, Philippians chapter 3, I'm going to read verses 1 uh, through 3. This is what Paul says. Finally, my brethren, rejoice in the Lord. For me to write the same things to you is not tedious, but for you it is safe. Paul doesn't mind to, to say these same things over and over and over. We're in chapter 3. We've done this a few times now uh, because it's so important. Beware of dogs. Beware of evil workers. Beware of the mutilation. All right. So at this point in the church of Philippi, there are people who have come up and they are preaching a gospel of works. Okay. Gospel means good news, good news of works. Does that even make sense? No, it doesn't. So they are preaching specifically that in order to be saved, that it's Jesus on the cross plus circumcision, all right? That you have to be circumcised in order to be saved. That is wrong because to say that, to look at Jesus on the cross and to say that, yep, yeah, that gets me almost all the way there. To look at God on the cross dying for you and to say that, yep, that's, that's pretty good, but it's not quite enough. I've got to make sure to do my part. That's a false gospel, and it's not true. It's a gospel of works. Beware of dogs, beware of evil workers, beware of the mutilation. For we are the circumcision who worship God in the Spirit, rejoice in Christ Jesus, and have no confidence in the flesh. You see, it's nothing about what we have done that saves us. That it's not Jesus plus circumcision. It's not Jesus plus baptism. It's not Jesus plus the Lord's Supper. Those things are baptism, uh, Lord's Supper, communion. Those things are fine. They're, I mean, they're, they're good. They're, they're good things to do. We ought to be baptized. We ought to, to go to church and we ought to uh, take in the Lord's Supper with our brothers and sisters in Christ. But those things don't save us. There's nothing salvific about those actions. What does save us? It's the grace of God that saves us, and that's why we rejoice. We are saved by grace alone, through faith alone, in Christ Jesus alone. That it's him on the cross that gives us our salvation. It's nothing else. It's nothing that we've done. It's nothing that, uh, that anybody else gets to tell us has, has happened. It's just Jesus. It's our faith in him that saves us. Grace alone, by faith alone, in Jesus Christ alone. I thank you so much for coming and hanging out with me today. The goats quit climbing on me, so I don't know what to do with myself now. I guess I could just stand here and keep talking for 15 more minutes. <laughs> I'm kidding. I want you all to have a wonderful day. We are finishing up. we got three more weeks in the book of Philippians. Rejoice. We're going to really hammer home a few different things. Thank you so much for being here. My name's Reagan, and I hope you have an absolutely wonderful day today. Thank God for, for his grace. We'll see you all soon.